Welcome everybody to the Empathetic Selling Tip of the Week. I wanna do more of these, so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe. All right, so today's tip is one that doesn't come up very often, but it absolutely needs to be said, and that is stop asking leading questions. Like, you want the best solution available, right? Or you're looking for a cost-effective option, aren't you? Or any number of these kind of questions that just sound so dang obvious to prospects that it just as unbelievable, right? Leading questions like these don't serve the prospect's needs. Actually, they serve our own agenda. And let's be real. Not only can people see right through that, but also it's a huge turnoff, right? Here's the problem. Leading questions feel manipulative and prospects can sense when you're trying to back them into a corner. Like people know when you're trying to do this, can see it from a mile away. It puts them on the defensive. And the last thing you want in a sales conversation is for your prospect to feel pressured, or like you're pushing a narrative that they haven't bought into, right? And the main point of asking good questions isn't about trying to point out some obvious pain. I mean, they're on the call with you, right? They know something isn't working. A great question highlights these results, highlights what they want to achieve, and tries to gauge whether or not they're comfortable with your solution to help them achieve those results. All right. So now that we've talked about like what not to do a little bit, hear me out for just a second. Let's dive into what you should be asking, what I call results focused questions, right? These are questions that shift the conversation from focusing on obvious pain points to focusing on the outcomes that your prospect wants to achieve. Why is this more important than pain points? Because when you talk about results, you tap into something that excites your prospects. You're not just talking about their struggles. You're talking about their visions, their goals, and what success looks like for them. All right, so how do you create results-focused questions? Let me break it down for you. The first thing we do is we start by focusing on the end goal. So you want to know what success looks like for your prospects, and you're going to ask things like, what are the top outcomes you're hoping to achieve, right? How is your current strategy helping you reach those goals, right? This way, we're not taking ownership of their problems. And we're not even talking about them. They're, they're facing problems. Instead, we're directing the conversation towards the results they care about. Next, we need to assess how well their current strategies are working in getting to those goals, right? Just like I talked about. But here's the thing. You don't want to point out where they're falling short. Instead, you're going to ask something like, how do you feel your current approach is helping you get closer to those goals, right? Is it meeting all of your needs, right? That's how we're going to develop a gap. This gives the chance this gives the prospect a chance to reflect. They may realize their current methods aren't working as well as they thought, but they came to that conclusion on their own. You're not forcing it, right? Questions help us teach and help people learn, right? Now, the last piece of the results-based questions is all about comfort. It's, it's one thing to have a goal, but it's another to be comfortable with the path that it takes to get there. Asking something like, how comfortable are you with the steps you're currently taking to get those results? How do you feel that my solution can help you reach the desired results, right? How Cover that gap, right? This is the key because it opens up the opportunity to discuss how you can help without coming off as pushy. If they're not comfortable or confident, that's where you can step in and offer a solution. So let's recap. Results-focused questions help you shift the conversation from like pain points to goals, from problems to solutions. You're focusing on what the prospect wants to achieve and how comfortable they are with that process and with your solution. These questions empower your prospect to share what really matters to them. And when you understand their vision, you can position your solution as the bridge to get them from where they are to where they want to be. So remember the key to asking great sales questions and having a great sales conversation isn't about just asking questions. It's the right questions. So the next time you're in a meeting, ditch those leading questions, start focusing on results, and you'll see an immediate shift in how your prospects respond. And I guarantee you'll have better, more meaningful conversations. So that's the tip for the day. If that resonated with you, make sure you like and follow. If you want more tips just like this, you need to sign up for my free Thursday sales accelerator. That's on my website, empatheticselling.com. You get to ask questions, you get free training. And the best part is, uh, like I said, absolutely no risk to you. So if you want to keep doing this and improve your sales strategies, make sure you follow and join that. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen.